Okay, so um, on this uh, compact disc that I've got so far, I'm going to... Um, I have no idea where I'm going. Um, but I'm going to try and just do some, you know, different stamping on here and that. Uh, I don't know how well this will go. But we'll see. This is a... Uh, Yeah, this is a stamp that um, Josie gave me, and it's a wooden stamp. And uh, of course, I just think that um, yeah, that it's too bumpy for it to make a a good impression on it. So I'll go with part impression because it just adds interest, doesn't it? that's all I'm doing is trying to add some interest uh, to what I've done on the stamping. Got this um, got this uh, script stamp so we'll just ink that up and then put some of this on. Just to give a try and you know get something on the background a bit more, give it more interest. Which is good. You probably can't see because the light's shining horribly on that from up top. <laughs> anyway, so there's that. Now, <laughs> what else am I going to do? Not sure yet. Let me look, see what else I've got. So I'm going to go to my go to. Um, this is my go-to background distressor and uh, whoa, <laughs> red. The reason why I'm choosing red of course is because I've got the red underneath, underneath in the on the book paper and uh, in the flower shapes so that's why I went red and I'm actually going to put some blue on as well to see if I can tone it down. Blue, purple. Oh, blue. <laughs> Just see if I could turn that down a bit. Probably not. There you go. Just clean this off on this uh, paper here. Who knows? It might appear in another project. We never know, do we? Right. I'm actually going to use some, um, some of this uh, Cosmic Shimmer Vintage Mix thing. Oops, there you go, I hit me. Uh, I actually like it when it dots. But uh, yeah, so I'll just dry that off and see where we are. Okay, I decided that, that what I'm going to do is actually go girly girly on this one. I was undecided for a while there, so I'm going to add some ribbons, lace, flowers, a bit of bling, you know, the thing, all the things that are girly. <laughs> girly, that's me. Can't see that very well, I'm sure. Well, on the camera, it's um, yeah, it's not too good. So I'm just going to see what lace that I can put round the edge, if any, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm doing this one, gilly gilly, gilly gilly, and uh, just waiting for my glue gun to heat up because I'm just going to um, stick this lace here. is cute and I thought I'd stick some uh, just stick some flowers on there basically just go for it Oop, 
see it's my glue gun getting everywhere there and look. <laughs> I think I'm going to go flower mad on this one, okay? It's got some um, smaller blooms on this, which is nice. It's, you know, it's uh, different sizes, so that's good. Not just one big size. Lots of stringy strings. When I was at my mother-in-law's I went to Hobbycraft and I bought, bought a couple of metres of these um, pearls and things and I'm just loving them and I so wish I'd just bought like as much as I could. <laughs> so guess what I'll be doing when I go back to mother-in-law's in a couple of weeks and that's buying the shop out of uh, these flat back pearls and things these dangly pearls and the flat back pearls because uh, man you can't really do your you know cutesy cutesy um, altered projects without them can you <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'll get rid of these strings later I'm told that if you um, if you just put the uh, hot glue gun on they just melt so it's good Oh look, got one snapped off. Any pearls are snapped off there? Oh no. Yep, so. Okay. What I've got so far. Just going to see if that works. I'm just going to do the hot glue gun and see if it works. Hot glue gun, the um, heat gun, and see if it works for taking these off. 
to sort of melt them down into the project so I suppose that's something <laughs> yep I am going to be buying a shed loads of these when I go back they just make the piece look so pretty don't they anyway um yes something else okay so I've got this um uh, is it sun face <laughs> or is it the moon I don't know which but anyway I've got this one um it came to me in a uh, in a rack and it's from Josie as well and I think it will look nice on there like that so I'm going to hot glue it on And um, also what I'm going to do is, I was going to use the flat back pearls on here, but I've decided not to. I've decided to, to use liquid pearls on it instead. So that's your hanging door, And then it will take a little while for this obviously to dry. I'm actually going to leave, uh, I, I thought about colouring colouring it, but yeah, I actually prefer that to be white, so, hmm, so that's that. And there's a couple of other things that I really, really want to put on here, and I will see if I can find out the makings for them. My place, my craft work area is a mess because as I say I've just got back from mother-in-law's but I needed to catch up on doing some more videos so yeah so I'll see um see if I can find them I don't know where I've put them and uh, I'll be back if I can find them so I found what I was looking for and, and actually it was um some stick pin stuff that I've got here you know that uh I haven't really used I've always intended to use it so I'm just going to make a couple of stick pins now to pop in here as well and yeah see I'm really trying out new things today you know sometimes you buy these things and then you just never get around to using it do you and that's so bad look at that that wasn't um, hot enough, so let's see if I can remelt this with me. Yeah, my heat gun is hotter than my glue gun. It's <laughs> good, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit going by if you can hear it. I don't know whether you can. Just do three of these, I think, to pop on the um, project there. I know you're supposed to use caps and things, and I did buy caps and that to use on there, but I think I got all the wrong size. I think the ones I got are just too big. And of course, um, they're antique ones as well. So may maybe, maybe not. We'll see. need a better storage thing for it really don't I yeah I just think these are all wrong it's probably more bead ones than anything else yeah so I say I've never done this before so I'm sort of like flying blind here I think let's see what this looks like Maybe that's okay. That doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too awful. Bet you're telling me now 
Use wet glue. Don't use hot glue. Use wet glue. Because you're making a mess. <laughs> Oh, glossy accents. Yeah, man, use wet glue. <laughs> uh, hot glue doesn't do too well. My manky fingers don't help either. Sometimes I can't hold on to things. It's part of the aging process, folks. I did that anyway what I'll do is I'll wipe that off with a wet wet wipe just find one see what I did look at that look at that I squashed it all so I just wipe it off and then uh, I'll just go over it after I finish this just in case I do some more damage <laughs> oh, I bet you all could all see that one coming couldn't you <laughs> right I mean, how silly was that, eh? I wonder if this will uh, cut. I doubt it. Oh! Oh, wow. Don't you just love these uh, Tim Holtz scissors? Cool! If I do these really small, then no one will see how terrible they look. What I'll do is another one there longer, but I think what I'm going to do is use wet glue on it because the hot glue just doesn't look too good. Just do another one. Wet glue, where are you? <sighs> you know what, what it is, is that I'm feeling a little bit sick because the motion of the boat and I always do silly things and I feel a little bit sick. So, probably can't tell, but hey, we're swaying quite a bit. La 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 ha, ha, ha. Gluey glue Where are you? Oh you can probably see now Can you? Can you see? Yeah we're going for it now boy Ooh. Right I'm going to finish this off Look at that Is it stopping now? Going to finish this one off with pearl. Going to blob the hot glue under the pearl. Good, it's just stopped. Uh, 
and I'm going to shove this and I'm going to insert this don't really mean shove it do I a little bit higher just so it's sticking up a little bit higher than the other ones And then that again. Anyway, that's bits finished. <laughs> Gonna have to wipe this off here and start this little edge round here again. Whatever you do, folks, don't stick your hand in your liquid pearls when they're still drying. Right, I'm just going to take some of these. Right, I'm going to just. Uh, re-liquid pearl this bit and then I'm going to call it down and leave it alone to dry properly <laughs> it has to be completely dry before it gets sent off anyway so there you go that's my um, altered CD and it's a spring Easter themed compact disc, altered compact disc. There you go. Hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon. Bye.